say that it feels right. Boy wants that loot. So help me god, I'm gonna get it. Oh god, there's another fucking guy here. Oh, there's a fucking everywhere, man! I didn't need any of that shit, they didn't really have a lot. Fuck. <laughs> Airdrop out here in the wilderness. I whiffed. I whiffed. Oh, he had a satchel on him. Okay. Where did the airdrop go then? Unless no one got it, because they were in a tussle. Because there's nothing great on these people. Oh shit, okay. Ooh. Pick up the revolver, even though we don't need it. People get triggered. Oh, I feel bad. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another video. I hope we're all doing freaking great. I know I am. I'm having a great wipe. I'll show you the base. I've made quite a few renovations in between the last episode and this one. If you haven't caught the last episode, seriously advise go and watch it. And a massive, massive thank you to all the likes and the comments on that video, especially these guys, for your comments. I fucking, I just absolutely love reading your comments on my videos, guys. Literally, you're the reason I make these videos, for those comments. So thank you so much. Anyway, we are now just on a little bit of a farm, really. I need sulfur. I'm pretty much there on scrap for a level 3 bench, and let me tell you, it's still pretty much wipe day. I have been, it's been uh, around about 12, over 12 hours since wipe, right? Which is great in the fact that all I've done is play, 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 farm, recycle, farm, recycle, farm, recycle, hit barrels, recycle, hit the launch site, recycle. So, I'm having a great one of it, and we can maybe get some C4 raids off today, which is going to be grand. Plus AKs if I can find some more springs. So we're going to jump into it. I've got some farming, some PvP, and some base building to do. I hope you're going to enjoy it. Yeah. Stick with me. Not bad at all in terms of sulfur production. So we'll get these cranking while it goes night time again. Because as you guys know, the snow in Rust is just so freaking cold, it is mental. I'm going to have to stay inside and just not go out and farm. As you do. As you do. As you fucking do. What the fuck, bro? On the lookout for some bases to raid, and there's some. There's a lot with wood doors still. I mean, it is obviously still sort of in that 24 hour wipe day period, so. I mean, like, I'm looking two, three, four around here. I'm sort of past that point where I want to do early game raids this wipe. Obviously, with all the blueprints that we have got, it's just pointless. Like, I could go and grab fucking seven, eight swords and get through that, or I could craft a flamethrower, you know? 
I don't understand this fad of going out to farm in the middle of the day in high pop areas, like right here and right next to a red town, and not bring in a bow or a weapon. I mean, if you haven't got one, fine. But if he's got three and a half K wood on him, craft yourself a spear, kid. Just on a bit of a run round now, just in desperate, dire need of gears and rope, really, to be honest. They're kind of the big things for me. I'm not too fussed about anything else, but they're the things that I really need. Rope is going to help me out for ladders and jars and gears so we can get, like, metal doors, really. Armoured doors. If you guys play solo, do you do you build next to the launch site very often? This is what I love about a solo-only server. It, it It's a level playing field, so it doesn't matter where you build, you can come to places like this and really get yourself some heavy duty loot. If you didn't know guys, this this little nook here has no radiation for some reason. I don't know why, but that's just, it's in the game for some reason. So I'll get my health back up and then we'll push on. Oh, supply drop. Hello, hello, hello. I think I'm going to call that in in a minute, to be honest. I'll tell you what, I've absolutely loved the amount of time that I've had to play with. Basically, the last three weeks, the reason there's been so much more A, content, and B, like, end game stuff is because I've been able to take the last three days, three Fridays off work so every day after wipe I've had the day off so I've been able to play non-stop all the way through the night and it's been incredible. Why was there a bandage in there? But I've absolutely loved just grinding. I, I love farming, I'm a farmer at heart and I've loved it. 20 high ball, come on game. Okay I don't know if I showed you guys but this is the system we've gone for up here. This is our upstairs -y area. And here's where I've put the level 3 bench, so what I'm going to do is just sit now and craft... Oh, I might as well wait until night time. Nah, I'll do them now. We'll get a... a no, we'll go look for a base first. We'll go look for a base first. This could be a tasty one. A couple of C4. Maybe just go through the doors. Is that another one over there? Yeah, we'll check that out. Go through the doors or 2C4 light on, I would guess, the back. Oh, I came without a... Oh, well. I came without a chest piece on, but I'm really not bothered about a flamethrower. I mean... It Raiding your neighbours early on has its upsides and downsides. Obviously, we can raid them really easily and kick them out of our area nice and fast, but downside, he's probably not going to have much. Knock, knock. Anyone home? Oh, we're in. Stunning. I actually overshot it. Pretty crap, pretty crap, but, lock TC. There we go. I know there's more efficient ways to do this, but I'm really not bothered about low grade. I've got so much of it, there's just bears everywhere. And it's not worth at all. Hey, 82 low grade back isn't bad, I suppose. 82 cloth. And we kicked a neighbour out of the area. Destroyed his bag, right? And he's gone. Out of the area. And we are out and going home. twice in all that. What the fuck, bro? The big issue with C4 raiding at this point of the wipe is that you don't know. You're, it's very unlikely that you're going to make your sulfur back in terms of how much C4 it costs. So I'm going to go through the doors as opposed to bat wall. Maybe we can get a little bit more of the base and see, but it is annoying. But at the same time, that's kind of the risk you've got to take for the safety and the security of C4 over satchels. Like, this is going to be so quick, man. Like, just the guarantee that it's going to explode. Like, look at that. Fucking love having an AK in my hands as well. Okay. Mm, already screams that this is going to be a... Like a basement base. Because I guess that's all basement at the back. So maybe it is good we didn't go into the back. Because I don't think I would have guessed that that was a foundation. What we got? Oh, come on. No traps, but no loot. 
unnamed bag. Okay. No traps, but no loot. But, thinking about it, we can pick through these here. I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick. I'm not throwing a third C4 down the drain for nothing. God, I fucking adore C4 raiding, guys. Like, how quick and unstressful is that? Just the fact that you know it's happening, plus the fact that I've got an AK in my hands helps. I'll give you that, but you know, you know. Okay, let's get to work. Go to town on this and hopefully get some loot. Okay, just about through. It's pitch black. I'm glad I didn't bring my Metal Gear because I would be fucking dead by cold right now. Oh, hello, whatever your name is. Wilatelwoki. Ah, oh, it's crap. It's not good. I mean, to make back the sulfur from this raid, we would need, like, mad, mad profit. And I don't think we're going to get it, but... Take those, you can have my pickaxes, my friend. Is that a sword? That's a cool skin. Right, we got in your box. Uh, two gears, okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, seven rope, yes. I'm making the best out of a bad situation here. That is not bad. Uh, that must have been a furnace. It must have been a furnace. So I guess this is the TC? Yeah, um, okay. I mean, we don't need low grade, you guys know I've got fucking tons of it. That's, that's alright cloth, to be fair. Fucking sack those off. We'll take the leather, we'll take the wood, we'll take the scrap. Pretty much do as I think. I'm gonna go home. We don't need any more. Nah, eh, not a good raid. I mean, that's the grand total of the sulfur, like less than a K. But the low grade, yeah, that's a shit raid, boys. I'll do better next time, that was a shocking raid. Alright, my dudes. Going to end this with a bit of a flourish. Let's put our metal armor on, even though we're going to freeze to fucking death. I've come. My base is over there. So I've ran round, come to this bit where I've been. This is where I come to farm my nodes. I know there's no bases around here, because if you look at the map, there's fuck all up here, dudes. This is where we built our, built our starter base last, way, last episode, which is why we had to move, because bar nodes, no roads, the nearest road is fucking here, which is where my main base is now. So, I'm hoping, if I call this in here, Competition may be limited. Yeah, we got smoke this time. Love it. Somebody's only just called another one in, or there's just been one. Just over there somewhere. I can't see it dropping now. We're too far out. And guys, that's actually where I'm going to end the video today. We are going to have to wait until next episode to see if we get this and see what we get. I'm hoping for like another AK or something so I don't have to craft another because we're out of springs and we're out of rifle bodies. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your comments, your loves, your likes. You guys are just mental. I will catch you in the next one. It'll be in a couple of days time. Look out for it. Make sure you've got the bell ticked so you know what you're to look for i'm gonna farm some sulfur we're gonna do probably a four or six c4 raid next episode hopefully i'm not fucking recording until i've got that c4 ready to go so thanks for watching guys have a great one peace out